हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक सो टुडे वी विल सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम एम नीड गाइड बुक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज़ अ वेरी गुड बुक आई वुड लाइक टू प्रेज इट फॉर ऑल दी नीड स्टूडेंट्स इट इज़ अ मस्ट डू बुक वन शुड सॉल्व इट फॉर वेरी गुड ग्रिप ऑन दी क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट अस सॉल्व दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ ड्रंक कार्ड इज देयर यू कैन रीड द क्वेश्चन ही मूव्स फाइव मीटर हेड थ्री मीटर इज बैक एंड देर इज अलेवन मीटर देर इज अ पिट इलेवन मीटर हेड so the time it will fall he will fall on the pit we have to calculate so see very simple question 5 then he takes 3 back then he moves 5 front then 3 back okay so doing this he has moved to 4 meter 5 he moved here to 2 meter then 2 plus 5 is 7 he didn't fall here also then he moved back 3 he came to 4 then he will move to 5 5 uh, to 9 he will still not fall because 11 so he will come back 3 to 6 and then 5 then he will fall okay this is a journey so i think it is very clear front back front back front back three times he did so 8 seconds he took in this 8 3 at 24 24 plus 5 is 29 that means at 29 seconds he will fall down okay so let us also check the answer let us check the answer first is bia it is the right answer okay now taking the second question position is given and we have to calculate the distance traveled in the first 5 second now in such type of questions we have to see what people do is they put t is equal to 5 and that option is generally also given in the question we don't have to do this see it can happen that the person moved and then he came back it can happen if you put t is equal to 5 you may calculate this but the, but this is not required okay so what we will do we will first find when did he come to rest when did his velocity become zero so we find dx by dt dx by dt is how much 12 minus 40 t it becomes zero at t is equal to 3 second that means at 3 second he came to rest at 3 second he came to rest and then 5 second he came back so we will calculate this distance now at t is equal to 0 his position was 6 meter he was already at 6 6 meter now at t is equal to 3 t is equal to 3 x is equal to how much 6 plus 36 minus so how much uh, 9 18 that means 18 plus 6 24 so he moved to 24 okay so what distance did he cover 6 to 24 is 18 Now at t is equal to five, where did he reach? Six plus sixty minus fifty. Uh, That means sixteen meter. He came to sixteen meter. Okay, sixteen meter he came to, and uh, that means this is two meter. This is two meter. Yeah. So we can again see uh, t is equal to five. Sixty five twenty five fifty yeah so sixteen meter and uh, this twenty four yeah so no see uh, at t t is equal to five the position is six sixteen so from t is equal to zero it was six it was then ten this was a mistake so this was already x is equal to six this was l x equal to sixteen that means he moved ten that means this is eight. So what did distance did he cover? Eighteen plus eight. How much? Twenty six. I think B should be the answer again. I hope it is very much clear. We calculated when did the velocity become zero, and then we calculated the positions at those point, and then the displacements. So I think B should be the answer for second. Yeah, it is B. Okay. So let us take the third question. Car travels half the distance with constant velocity. A remaining half with another constant average velocity of the car. So again, a simple question. So you can see, if it is x, it is again x. Velocity u, velocity v. Then uh, average velocity. Average velocity will be total displacement upon total time. Time is x by u plus x by v, right? Total displacement over total time. Now x will get cancelled. It will become two uv upon u plus v. Yeah, simple. 
very very simple i think this we have covered in the classes also you can uh, see the previous lectures so we will put 40 and 60 here it will become 2 40 60 upon 40 plus 60 100 okay so how much 24 48 kilometer per hour c should be the answer for third it is c yeah. it is the right answer now see the next question particle located at x equal to 0 t is equal to 0 starts moving along the positive x direction yeah so we can see right v is equal to dx by dt is equal to alpha under root x so we can write dx by root x is equal to alpha dt and we will integrate at t is equal to 0 position is 0 at t is equal to t the position is x so it will become x e power 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2 from 0 to x is equal to alpha times t so putting the final minus initial limits it becomes 2 x e power 1 by 2 is equal to alpha d I, I hope you know these concepts then x will become how much so alpha by 2 square into t square that means x is proportional to t square b should be the answer for fourth it is the answer b yes a next question boy walks to his school have a distance of 6 km with constant speed walks back with constant we average speed for round tip so average speed is total distance upon total time not total displacement so total distance is 12 km okay upon total time yeah so total time is 6 by 2.5 plus 6 by 4 simple so you can calculate 6 gets cancelled 1 by 2.5 plus 1 by 4 so 2 into 4 into 2.5 by 6.5 okay so how much it will come 5 13 40 by 13 yes option is there b fifth b yeah b is the right answer i hope it is clear very very simple question so total distance upon total time okay taking the next question body traveling along a straight line traverse one third of the distance with velocity v1 okay so this is x by 3 with velocity v1 remaining part was covered with velocity v2 for half the time v3 for another half time so t and t v2 and v3 the mean velocity average over the whole time of motion is okay so mean velocity we have to see so simple question so again it will become total displacement upon total time what is the time here x by 3v1 plus now what is the time here we will calculate something separately what see v2t plus v3t it will be 2x by 3 right because this is the distance left now time taken here is t here also t so it becomes 2t we will calculate t from here and then we will put so what is t it is 2x by 3 v2 plus v3 we will put here x upon x by 3 v1 plus 2 times t that means 2x by 3 v2 plus v3 okay now x gets cancelled x gets cancelled it becomes uh, 1 this is separate okay so it becomes 1 and uh, 3 moves over to the top into my v1 into v2 plus v3 and then v2 plus v3 plus 4 v1 i think this should be the answer of oh, it is b it is option b yes it is option b let us check 6 yes b is the answer okay so if you have any doubts in these questions you can write in the comments very simple questions very very simple questions so i'm explaining you all these things that's why you know uh, otherwise 
if you solve on your own they can be covered in very less time very less time simple question and these type of questions only come in need distance of an object along a straight line is itna ha the initial velocity so initial velocity is how much ds by dt will calculate the velocity so you can write uh, derivative 16t plus 3 derivative of it 16t plus 3 so t is equal to 0 velocity becomes 3 So three will calculate a seventh seventh a r. Next is train moving at a speed of how many fourteen second to cross a bridge of how many length of the train is fourteen second to cross a bridge. Now see what is crossing the bridge. This is the bridge. The train will enter and the front part will move here. front part enters here and moves here this is complete crossing that means the front part covers how much the complete length of the bridge plus the length of the train itself okay so distance covered is 100 plus uh l l is the length of the train with time is 14 and velocity comes 36 into 5 by 18 Answer becomes 100 plus l is equal to 10 into 14, so l becomes 40 meter b. Eighth b, yeah, this is the right answer. So ninth question will take position of an object moving along x-axis is given by this. A b are given. Its velocity at t is equal to 2. Average velocity, ha. Huh. So at t is equal to 2. it is very simple dx by dt dx by dt so it is how much 2 bt 2 bt 2.5 into time time is 2 uh, second so it becomes 10 okay 10 is the option here and average velocity between 2 and 4 see it was a progressive motion t uh, velocity will become zero at t is equal to zero only so we do not need to do what we did in this question we don't need to do that so average velocity at so at t is equal to 2 position is a plus 4b at t is equal to 4 position is how much uh, a plus 16b now the displacement displacement is x2 minus x1 how much 12b upon total time total time is 2 seconds 4 minus 2 answer becomes 6b that means 6 into 2.5 6 into 2.5 so uh, how much it become 515 yeah so 15 so this should be the answer c 10 and 15 9 c are yeah, this is the right answer so one more question 10th we will do so these are short videos we are just covering you know some questions to get you the grip of it and get you the gist of how to solve the questions once we have done the theory so body of mass m moving along the straight line covers half the distance with speed 2 remaining half the distance is covered in 2 it is the same type of question average speed of the entire journey so it is the same type of question that we did here so i think you can do this Okay, so I will cover this eleventh area under VT graph. Particle is in a given time represent. So, if you have studied my graph classes, you can very well answer this question. This question. So, area under VT graph is displacement, है ना? So, uh, derivative of VT gives you the slope of VT gives you acceleration, but area will give you displacement. D should be the answer. because see area will become v into t and derivative will become v by t v by t is acceleration v into t is displacement 11th d should be the answer 11th yeah d is the answer okay so that's all for today we have just taken some questions and you know if you have good grip on the chapter you can cover maximum questions in less than 1 minute and if you do that you will find neat very very easy and scoring okay so we'll meet in the next class and take up some more questions thank you so much for joining the class share this video with all those people who need the video and uh, 
do comment and write to me what more type of questions you want me to solve okay we will take up that questions okay thank you so much